Hi everyone, welcome to Production Operations Management Chapter 4 Forecasting. That was lame. Okay, I think I'm also bored by you know recording these videos, but if I uh, can record them in, in a good shape, then I may be able to use them next semester as well. So let me just remove these and I'll just put them in ag again one more time. The exponential smoothing is also another type of weighted moving average, but in this case we are going to multiply the most recent period with a weight of alpha, and you determine that between 0 and 1. I'm just going to enter 0 0.5, and the remainder of this uh, weight, so there's 50% goes to the most recent, and the other 50 will be allocated to the other periods but in an exponentially decreasing order. So November will take some, October will take a little bit lower than November, September will take lower than October, etc. And some, in some cases, this is uh, going to provide you a better forecasting result than the moving averages. So it may be for this case, or it may not be for this case, we are going to see it. So we have to initiate this forecasting method from the beginning and we have to just say that our exponential summating forecast for the, the earliest period is the same thing as the sales data. And then we are going to use the formula provided by your textbook. And that says the forecast in the earlier period plus alpha and we put a dollar sign times an actual in the earlier period minus the forecast in the earlier period and we get this this number as our February forecast then we drag this down until January here and this number 16.65 as you can see it's using the December values December is using November values etc and it is all all the values are dependent upon the, the the earliest value so you have to just use Excel in this case if you have a lot of numbers to to work with uh, <clears throat> it's done so for January we are expecting the the sales would be 16.65 and is this better estimation than the other two so first let's find a deviation and we are not going to put the deviation for January because we assume that they are going to be the same we will put a deviation for February and the sales data minus exponential the forecast and we drag this down we are not including January because there is no actual data yet and then absolute deviations we are going to find them and I'm only going to find the MAD, but you are going to use, find MAPD and MSE as well. So MAD value, the mean absolute deviation, is the average of of those those values, and that's 5.05. .05. Now, is this the uh, good value of alpha? Mm, again, we can try an alpha between zero and one. And I don't want to try this, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I want to go to the solver. And from the solver, and I can just say that my objective is the MAD. And I want to minimize it by changing alpha. And what we want is we want alpha to be less than or equal to 1. Less alpha is less than or equal to 1 we click OK and also we want alpha to be a non-negative value and we are just checking these buckets already checked by default then we can click on solve <clears throat> and the solver found a solution alpha is 1 OK alpha 1 is the same thing as what? It is the same thing as the weighted moving average with the most recent value of weight of 1. And here, 
alpha 1 provides you the same results and it gives you the same um, 367 327 it's not the same MAD because if you want to keep uh, comparing the the methods it's a good idea to just use the same amount of of values to de de to compare the deviations the MADs so in this case it may be a good idea to start from April instead of March uh, so if I delete February and March and you are going to see that 367 okay now the weighted moving average and exponential smoothing with those they coincide but they are not the same method and in certain cases for certain problems you are going to see that an alpha value of 0.6 may be a better result than the weighted moving average with different weights so this is just for this uh, special case alpha 1 is the best <coughs> result and both of them are just telling you that just use the most recent uh, period the other is not helping you but this is not always the case thanks for watching